Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. We're back at the university today because it originally started as just an observatory thing to just this one little building. And then we added sort of a one coming off it. And then we had the idea of making this into, into the university of the city. We've got a primary school down there. We've now got a high school. And this is a university. So we've sort of got all three stages of uh, education. Also, I'd like quite like to add... This is quite cool that we've got sort of the uh, high-tech stuff over on this side of the city and the dirty stuff on the exact opposite. That was completely unintentional, but we've got like the, the cargo and all the factories and stuff on that side. And on this side, we've got the uh, university, we've got the spaceport, the water treatment plant, you know, sort of all the green energy, the recycling plant. Look, everything green and, and high-tech on this side. And on that side is sort of all old and cold and factory stuff. Very unintentional, but very, very cool aspect to it. Subtle aspect to the to the city. So, I want to expand upon this because it's not a very big university. In fact, I think the high school, probably floor span wise, has more rooms and stuff. So we had the idea on the last world tour, which I've been referencing a lot and I will be uh, for the future episodes here, on expanding the university down the hill. As you can see, we've got this sort of, see that sort of natural staircase in the grass there? We can use that as a path from that staircase there, which has never made any sense being on the front there, but it just looked cool. So we can now make that useful by having a path that comes down. And then see along the edge here where my mouse is, right? That's sort of a natural end to this part of the hill. We flatten out this part and make that part a little bit steeper. And the same here, we sort of flatten out this part here. We need to go right out here if we wanted to. And make this part stay because that's that's really really gra gradual there and uh, and then we can take some buildings now we might cheat and just copy and paste those buildings that we've already got here down here because i want them all square and they're all square and there's like three different types we might be able to get away with it it might not look too weird what height do we want to add probably this height seems to be the one for me let's turn the shaders off here let's grab our wand and let's just sort of put down some areas what why is this why 51 so we'll come over here I think I probably want to come way out here. I'll grab some grass. And I think for the moment, we'll just sort of go somewhere here. And we'll go to Y51. Select probably down here, to be fair. Set grass. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Nice platform there. Probably can go out a little bit, or probably a fair bit wider as well. But we're just sort of getting a, ourselves a start. Same as over here. We should grab this one. We should go way over here. Probably to around about here. Was sort of what I'm thinking. And we'll go again to Y51. Like that. Go down there. I don't know why I actually built the pillar. I don't need to build the pillar. Set grass. So we've got the platform out the front here. When it all loads in. And that one thank you and then i think i could probably pull this out a little bit further let's go um from there probably go to where i am standing now sort of this sort of area because we're going to lose a bit when we smooth it you see so i'm going to go down to there set grass and square that off there Grass. So we'll grab ourselves a tool. We'll do brush smooth. And we'll just power our way on this. I should probably go a bit bigger. Whoops. Six. There we go. So that's why we sort of built it a little bit further out because we lose a little bit when we smooth it off here. We're just sort of building it back in the train. We could come out. A little bit further if you wanted to. You can sort of see where it goes gradual and then steep. I, I sort of like that though. We'll have to see. And the way that this is smoothing. It's sort of smoothing it in a pretty straight line here. So we might want to uh, do something with that. Maybe a little bit. We'll have a look. Once we sort of smooth this all in. See how that's like very, very straight down there. The corners are, are great. Like the corners are fine. But these areas here are a bit straight. But we've. We'll probably hide that fact when it comes to putting trees down. Because all of this will be treed and wooded anyway. 
Oh, that's better. Oh, I'm happy with that anyway. Yeah, I've smoothed that bit. Is there anything we can do here? You know, it's not that bad. In fact, I can sort of do it like this. So smooth that corner off nicely. You know, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that, right? So, can I take these buildings and paste them down there? That's the question. Let's grab our wand here. Uh, let's go with this one first. It's probably going to take a few blocks that we don't want, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so I want to make sure I get the edges. So I'm going to grab that. That also grabs the front. And then we're going to go over here. And that seems to be the corner there. I think I'm probably going to stand in the middle of the staircase to copy it. Now that building at the moment is facing this way. If I rotate it, it probably will not be so obvious that it was copied. So if we rotate it 90 degrees and I paste it here. I don't know if I've pasted it close enough to the back of the mountain or if I'm too close or what yet. Maybe I was a little bit too close, but I'm sort of happy with how that is. There's a couple of blocks here that we don't want. Well, I probably will re-add them, but because we probably want to do the same sort of wall design as what we've got here. So I'll put that one in there. Uh, let's try the long one and place it down. It'd be great to have it down there. That would be really nice to have if we could if we could do that. So we'll nab that corner and we'll go way over here. And grab that corner. Oh no, I want that one. So I grab the staircase. Ooh, another one. That one. Again, we'll stand in the middle of the staircase. And I'll probably stand on this edge for this one. Copy. And I want to rotate this minus 90 degrees because I want it to rotate anti-clockwise so the staircase if we're looking this way is pointing towards us we'll stand i probably want to lose some of this let's lose some of this first we'll grab that one we'll go over here it's probably going to be a little bit sort of unneat at the moment but it'll do for what we need set air i just sort of flatten that off missed three blocks so if I stand about here, as long as it's in the bit in the area, we're good. Oh, it's very tight, but I'm pretty good with that. So let's put another building down there. Uh, is this our smooth one? It is indeed. Ooh, no. I saw it catch the building then. Good. Be very careful here. Undo. We'll, I'll, I'll be able to do that. I'll be able to do that in a minute. Okay. Uh, and then what was the last building that we've got? That one. Let's grab this one in the middle here. We'll put that down somewhere there. Again, I can just grab that one. Go over here. Grab that one. I'll stand in the staircase for this one. Copy. I think this one probably is keeping the same orientation, so we don't need to rotate it or nothing. I should be able to paste it just here somewhere. Something like that. Go a nice around here. I'll probably keep that wall there. We hang over the edge a little bit. Okay, let's pull it forward then. Let's do a undo and then a paste here. Still nice, a uh, uh, nice amount of room to get through there. The back side will be fenced off. We're now sitting on here nicely. If I could grab that one again and flip it around this way. Would it fit? Now, I think we build our own little custom one in here. Okay, so we'll grab the bricks. Can you hear my dogs playing in the background? My dogs are wrestling. Having a wrestle moment. Let's... Uh, we'll use obviously the same blocks here, but it'll just be a sort of slightly smaller one. Okay, 
Uh, two blocks high for the foundation. It's a really easy building to do as well. These buildings look... I, I don't know why. I just really like the look of these buildings. They're so simple. But sometimes, simple is best. Well, pretty much all the time, simple is best. Uh, but in this case, just the simple blocks. It just looks really neat and modern. Which is what you want out of a university. A very clean, clean sort of aesthetic. Over this, around here. We'll find a place for the uh, little staircase for the doors once we've got it all in. Now all of the windows on here are 2 by 3s Let's um, get the corners in here first. That's going to be the height of the first window. I probably want this one a two-story one though, I think. So I'm putting the corners in where we know windows aren't going to be. The normal... Uh, saying we have of just do what you know first. Like that. Speed building a university. Okay. Uh, I could do that one on this side. We'll have it on the opposite side on this side. We'll have a window there. Well, how many glaps is there between each one? A minimum of two. Cool. I'll have another one there. And then I'll have one on this side. I could maybe put that one in and then have the oh no that would be that would be wrong wouldn't it let's uh let's take this window out and we'll have the door somewhere there i'll just leave it open to remind me and then on this side we can do three windows and then a slightly larger wall on this side like that okay uh glass we'll fill in now Replace air with 160. Like this. For the door. It's the same. It's sort of bricks. It's two blocks wide. We'll grab the stairs. It's a two block tall door. Like that. Like that. Something like that, I think, makes sense. And then the stairs, and whatever block that is. And I'm assuming it's on, on those ones. It is. Cool. So there's the door in, and then we have full blocks of quartz hanging over the edge. Oh no, did we want two stories or just one story? I think two stories would be would be good if i extend this building by one more block i can get another window in can't i oops let's do that nope i keep clicking the wrong one that one to that one uh cut paste so i've pulled this out so we get a, an extra block on the building and then that way I can get that extra window in here perfectly. Which will just help us with the uh, second floor. Right, I could put that one in there. Move this over by a block. Oops. Like that. Like that. That's just going to make a lot more sense. Put that window in. So that's the first story done, yep. Yeah? Uh, can I just grab it, do you reckon? And just take the door out. That'll be the fastest way to do it. Copy. I think if I set on that one. Oops, I fell. Paste. Two blocks between. That's got three blocks between. So I need to go up by another one. And undo. Mm, that, I think. Okay. 
that's the doorway so we just got to fix that but this way it takes all the glass and stuff this is a proper quick one i didn't think that we would be able to get even this far this episode i was i quite underestimated it that one put these ones in here above the windows on all levels we've got quartz slabs so we'll put these in like this We've got the same on the top here. And then we have a little bit of a fancy sort of coving on the top here that joins up to that them full blocks that we started to place down a minute ago. So full quartz blocks go around here. And then we have like a, an every two approximately. It seems to be. We might have a little bit of trouble because the width of this building is a little bit awkward but we've had to do that so we've got enough space for the path to go through the middle okay and then the slabs do something like that you know that'll work like that or do i work it from the corner i could just take that one away like that We'll do it around the windows here, there, there, and there. And then the top, what block is this? It's, just a, it's a slabbed one. So I uh, know I can do this by this 44.6. Replace air with 44.6. Kaboom! So there's our last building in. Now, let's change this up to grass. Replace dirt with grass. Replace stone with grass. We shall get a nice staircase in here. How are we going to do this? Probably uh, try and keep it a little bit to the mountain. Something like that. Oh, look at that. Perfect. block and then a stair i like how it sort of flattens out slowly here like that there's this yeah oh that looks really cool and then at the bottom here i don't know where we should start here somewhere and we'll go over to there set one one two we'll put this wall in We'll do the same down here i'll just extend this a little bit into the the building and then draw that along here yeah i think i'm pretty happy there just keeps all uniform then the top part of the university and the bottom part have the same walls they have the same blocks they really look like the same area which is exactly what we want so we'll just go from there i was sort of halfway through that building so for the moment i'll just do it to there and then we can put this wall in oops i missed this side uh don't need that block like that i don't know why i'm putting a wall on i mean these these guys here they're university students right pretty sure they're not gonna accidentally fall off uh the edge of a of a hill uh, they should should probably be smart enough not to do that but it doesn't matter um these benches are the wrong way as well really those ones aren't gonna be there uh this shouldn't e be here either that uh yeah okay let's fix some of these we'll have to put some more of those down in a minute as well oh, i got rid of this the one block i need <laughs> bricks i'll put these on here 
I know I missed one. I saw. Get all the way back. And then when it comes to me being having the willpower to put a million trees down around these all these hills, which I have started. I have actually started it. I'll be able to tree up all the edge of these. Okay, so we've got the benches here. We'll put a couple of benches down there. You need a lot of benches in the university. Everybody eats their meals outside. It's just just what they do. Those ones will have them. These ones are pointed the wrong way. Which building did I take from the middle? Was it this one? I don't want seats on the wrong side. Oh, no, no, not this one. Uh, that one. I need to check if there's benches on the other side of the building because I know that was in the middle of the of the higher portion. And that would just be weird. So let's just have a quick look over here. Ah, ah. Originally, I was going to end the episode off there, but I thought, no. Afterwards, I'll put some trees down. I want to put some trees down, see what that looks like. So I've gone around just with the oak trees. Unlike over here where we're using the birch, oak, and spruce trees, just around the edge and on the inside of the university, I'm only using just one line of oak. After that, I'll mix in all three. But along the edge here, I just wanted a really neat oak line. And obviously in the middle here where we've got... Uh, the sort of hill in the middle here. I've just oak tree that part up. I don't know if I'll do oak trees on this side as well. Probably, maybe. Like, do an oak tree sort of edging or thick edging along here. And then go into the other types of trees. Not quite sure yet. We'll have to have to have a look. But how cool does that look, hey? Nice big open space here for meetings and maybe whatever else that you do in big open spaces and universities. Experiments. <laughs> That'll do. Uh, but yeah, with the trees around here now, see how it ties both sections together. They're both at totally different heights, uh, but it, it's tied the, the two areas whoops, in together really, really well. And that's where I'm going to leave the episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye!